Alrighty, so YouTube the other day has tweeted about this on how it's going to affect them on the coronavirus. But first, uh, I have a tweet to read to you. And what they're going to explain in a couple of days, which I will fast forward to in just a moment. And, uh, some creators were kind of mad about the, about the answer YouTube is, has given when the, uh, when they said that they are going to be remote, remotely working. But uh, let me read you this first. Creators, we hear your feedback around demonetizing videos on COVID-19. We know you have a lot to contribute to the global conversation. So we're taking a close look at our policies. More to come. Your tweets out, given the rapidly updating news and information on COVID-19, we are reviewing our monetization policies around videos that discusses the virus. More to come. And someone tweets out, so YouTube TV, how much are you going to lower our bill since we lost RSN? Okay, maybe I shouldn't read that. Anyway, this has been uh, concerning for some creators, and for some creators, it clearly has taken a toll on this and. This is what I really want to do right now, which is to read what is there right now, which says here, there's been a lot of discussion around monetization on videos about COVID-19 to better support the sharing of information where we are enabling, enabling ads for content on the virus for a limited number of channels. Expanding to more soon, read more for, from Susan Wojcicki. And, you know, this might be a serious outcome. And some of the content Creators may not understand, or some of the viewers too may not understand. Like this person who is who has asked a question saying limited number of channels, all or nothing. If CNN can talk about the virus and be monetized, but some random channel can't, that's not how this works. One says team one of two says team YouTube we are starting with these creators because the accuracy of their self certification rating shows us that they understand our advertiser friendly guidelines and how their content complies with them. Okay, so So there's that. Um, but what about the second part? Well, we'll get to the second part in, in a moment. But I see that a lot of people are likely angry or 
or upset about this because well YouTube hasn't done of a good job over the years and it kind of shows but also they have set this we're working to prepare our enforcement process to enable ads on content discussing COVID-19 for all monetizing creators in the coming weeks. And then another person was mad when he says hours YouTube uh, hours not coming weeks. Well to enter that guy's uh, comment on on what YouTube's trying to do, they can't do hours because it's not possible for them to just do things quickly. Even though there's a new YouTube studio, that's not how it really works. They have to be prepared. They need time. So they can't just do it like hours, hours, hours. That's not going to work this way. I mean, seriously, it's just not going to work this way. It never will work this way if, if YouTube We'll just one day do this hours and then hours on end. But, you know, that's not how it works in the real world these days. In the coming weeks, we will remove COVID-19 status as a sensitive event in our ad family guidelines. We're prepping our policies and processes to expand monetization of this content to all creators in the YouTube Partner Program. You'll get enough in studio as soon as this applies to your channel. And from the YouTube Creators Treat, it says there's been a lot of discussion around monetization on videos about COVID-19 to better support, to better support the sharing informa of the information or enabling ads for content on the virus for a limited number of channels, expanding to more soon. And then you have to go to this blog, which will tell you to read more, which you should read more. And I'll have that link in the uh, description below. But let me check this out here. There's the, there's a tweet from two days ago which says, As COVID-19 evolves, we're doing our best to support those who watch, create, and make a living on YouTube. Many of us here and in our extended workforce are unable to work as usual. So we're reducing staffing in certain offices, causing some disruptions, which got some, got a couple of YouTubers quite of worried, mad, and upset about it. But it's sort of greater good here, because the fewer people to review content, our automatic systems will be stepping in to keep YouTube safe. More videos could be removed than normal during this time, including content that does not violate our community guidelines. We know this would be hard for you. And then the concerns start to continue to roll in. We appreciate your cons your patience with delays in support by uh, team YouTube slash chat, email, and reviews. E.g. appeals during this time. We will continue to working to support you in 
to the uh, best of our abilities. Check back here and our help center, help center for updates. And some YouTube YouTubers have tweeted this out in response. I would report the same drama, but then you won't pay me. Another another YouTuber tweeted. If you cared about us creators, then maybe stop de demonetizing videos on the topic. Well, as I said, that they just mentioned in the coming weeks, all creators in YouTube Partner Program will be able to monetize content discussing COVID-19 greenhouses last week. See you below. Go get a location in the studio when this applies to your channel. And that's all the responses you're going to get because you have to know and understand what YouTube is trying to do here. I mean, I want the employees to be safe as much as I want them to stay at the YouTube headquarters. Their responsibility and priority comes first with health. You need to take COVID-19 seriously. And that's what they have to do. You can't just say, maybe YouTube should work harder and not demonetize or take down my content. Well, you need to realize that by asking YouTube to do something that, they're, that they will try to do but won't, at the for the next couple of weeks or days well it's just not gonna happen they're not gonna try to stop to like not delete your content if it doesn't violate guidelines immediately so you need to make sure you are on your toes and make sure that your content is safe. You need to make sure of it because YouTube, as of right now, as of right now, is unable to do everything on the front lines of it all. YouTube is trying to do the best, the best it can. And, you know, by uploading, by the time I upload this video, I will keep an eye on my content on COVID-19 because I'm also afraid, I'm also hopeful that YouTube will do their job, even if it's not as normal as it should be. And people like us need to take it very, 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 very seriously if we want to get through this together. And with that, I'm going to read you from Susan Wojcicki's blog. Because that's something we need to understand. Alright, so. Here is the... YouTube creator blog, I am going to read you exactly what is on there and why YouTube has to do this. So don't get mad at the messenger trying to spread the message as to why YouTube will be focusing on their own employer's health as part of COVID-19 while still working to remotely remove content that actually violates guidelines. Today, as the unprecedented COVID-19 situation continues, Google outlined how it's reducing the need for people to come into its offices while ensuring that its products continue to operate for everyone. We are committed to keep being the YouTube community informed about our actions related to COVID-19 in a de dedicated location in our help center. Here is how 
our update from last week. Below is some more information about the reduction in office staffing as it relates to YouTube. We have teams at YouTube as well as partner companies that help us support and protect the YouTube community. From people who respond to user and creator questions to reviewers who evaluate videos for possible policy violations. These teams and companies are staffed by thousands of people dedicated to help being users and creators. As the coronavirus response evolves, we are taking the steps needed to prioritize the well-being of our employees, our extended workforce, and the communities where they live, including reducing in-office staffing in certain sites. Our, our community guidelines enforcement today is based on a combination of people and technology. Machine learning helps detect potentially harmful content and sends it to human reviewers for assessment. As a result of the new message we're taking, we will temporarily start relying on more technology to help lift some of the work normally done by reviewers. This means I'm at Made systems will start to will start removing some content about human review, so we can continue to add quickly to remove violated content and protect our ecosystem while we have workplace protections in place. As we do this, users and creators may see increased video removals, including some videos that may not violate policies. We won't issue strikes on this content except in cases where we have high confidence that it's violative. If creators think that their content was removed in error, they can re they can appeal the decision and our teams will take a look. However, note that our workforce precautions will also result in delayed appeal reviews. We'll also be taking be more cautious about what content gets promoted, including live streams. In some cases, unreviewed content may not be available via search on the homepage or in recommendations. All the eligible creators will still be able to monetize videos and this does not change the updates on monetization of coronavirus related videos we shared last week. And we'll continue to enforce our policies regarding coronavirus content, including removing videos that discourage people from seeking medical treatment or claim harmful substances have health benefits. The situation with coronavirus continues to change day by day and we'll continue to take the steps needed to protect our teams and the communities where they live. This may affect additional types of YouTube user and creator support and reviews, such as applications for the YouTube partner program or responses on social media. To stay up to date on any changes in our services and our broader response to the coronavirus, continue to the helps to check the health center. We recognize this may be a disruption for users and creators, but no, this is the right thing to do for the people who work to keep YouTube safe and for the broader community. We appreciate everyone's patience as we take these steps during this challenging time. YouTube's policies are designed to support your work on the platform, to protect users, and to give advertisers confidence on about where their ads run. We know many of you have questions about our sensitive events policy, which currently does not allow monetization if a video includes more than a passing mention of the coronavirus. Our sensitive events policy was designed 
to apply to short-term events of significant magnitude, like a natural disaster. It's becoming clear this issue is now an ongoing and important part of everyday conversation, and we want to make sure news organizations and creators can continue producing quality videos in a sustainable way. In the days ahead, we will enable ads for content discussing the coronavirus on a limited number of channels, including creators who accurately self-certify and on a range of news partners. We are preparing our policies and enforcement policy process to expand monetization to more creators and news organizations in the coming weeks. YouTube creators have shown time and time again the difference it makes when we come together. We appreciate everything you do to create positive communities that allow people to turn to each other in times of need. Let's continue to support each other as we navigate these challenging times. Susin Wujiki. And there you have it. There is the, that is the creator's blog of the week. Because YouTube is doing the best they can. So it's best if we don't, if we don't get upset or stressed out about it too much. Even though I do worry myself that one of my content may be disappearing, but for those of you that have monetization, uh, your content is more accessible to be infected more than mine because, well, I don't have the YouTube Partner Program on, so it would not be possible for my content to get removed even if it's not violating community guidelines. So, yeah, there's that. And I just want to make sure that YouTube is doing their job just fine because I want YouTube to actually help the creators and make sure that they go as business as usual. With COPPA and everything else going on, it's, um, it's quite unthinkable to say, to say the least when it comes to YouTube and their flaws sometimes. But at this time of need, we all need to come together and just not to go at each other's throats, which means nobody in the, who are being shown this video right now have has to go into each other's throats with YouTube at this difficult time because even though you, YouTube has demonetize any some creators content well that will change you just need to give them time now as they evacuate their headquarters for the time being so let's just all take it easy and let YouTube do their jobs because COVID-19 is a very serious issue and we don't want the employees, not even the CEO of YouTube, to be sick. And if they stay at YouTube, something bad will happen. And all of us creators will only care about the one thing that we like the most, which would be very, very, very careless of us. And we don't want any of that to happen. So. It's best that we care less about our content. And care more about the health and well-being of other people. Who are trying their best at this difficult time. 
And as COVID-19 changes daily now, there will be issues. And that's what we as creators need to do is to is to have social distancing and stay home self quarantine yourself even if you're not sick just stay home at the most and make sure you wash your hands and all that that is the most important thing for you to do. And you shouldn't joke about COVID-19 because it is a very serious issue. The numbers that America is having is growing every day. Right now we're probably up to a thousand. Like 9,000 people who are infected by COVID-19. And it's important that we do our part and make sure that we stop the spread of the virus by doing exactly these three things. Again, wash your hands. If you're actually sick, stay home and don't let get other people infected. And make sure that you actually start social distancing. That's why all the other events all around this country, this country, the United States, have to be canceled because COVID-19 is serious. And it will remain serious as the days as the days ahead continue to grow the numbers. So let's just pray for everyone at YouTube right now who are, who are going to be self-quarantined at this difficult time. And let's not get mad at YouTube for trying to do their best, okay? Let's try not to do that right now because our health is important too, and we need to take care of that. We are in for a long haul, so let's not pressure YouTube to do anything as they are remotely trying to do.